Why is Nature News writing this up? Mm, like that's what, what my prediction is about. What is Nature News doing? So if I try to go devil's advocate on this, um, they're highlighting that the samples from the market early in 2020 aren't useful going forward. And in fact, their headline seems to suggest that. Yeah, but um, given that the research never could have demonstrated that at all, uh, they didn't need to be pretending that, uh, um, I don't know if that's, we're, we're seeing glitches no, here. Okay. The um, we, th this research couldn't have done what it was claiming to be doing, um, but the less generous appraisal, of course, of why Nature News is writing about this, uh, why the dedicated precious space, like this is literally showing up in the print issue, okay? This is, this is a piece of so-called science journalism showing up in the print issue of Nature, which is therefore still printed on paper with ink using precious resources. They have a limited amount of space for this. They're publishing this because it lends the sense that there is lots of nature-worthy research being done on the zoonotic origins of the virus, I think. And that this is in fact the buzz in scientific circles. And uh, for those of you, those of the many readers of nature who don't actually read, especially all the nature news articles, they go like, oh right, yeah, I did see, yeah, just last week, there was another piece on uh, the zoonotic origins. Not internalizing that actually, there, it was based on terrible research that found no nothing they found nothing um but it increases the kind of buzz around it and the sense for people who weren't paying close attention like yeah yeah yeah, zoonotic origins lots of research cool so it's pr it's not science mm, i i think you're on the right track but i think i would predict something uh predict something beyond this i would predict that we are going to get a result that's going to claim to settle the question which won't be the first time they've pulled that shit on us but right. of course um, I think the idea would be well. Oh, so this makes them look like they're uh, they're careful. Yes, and even you, they admit they had a negative result. Not Remember only that negative the, result, but you, yeah. that first sentence where it's basically a negative result. What is basically doing in that sentence? Uh, the sentence the the Jesse Bloom, the author. I would basically describe this as a negative result. Yeah. There's what no is basically, basically doing well, it? Well, I mean, so <laughs> honestly, yeah. it's not basically a negative result because it's not science at all. It's right. not a result. Right. But given that he doesn't think that, it's just, yeah, it's 100% a negative result if... If it were a result at if, all, if it'd it be a negative... If it were a result at all, it's a negative result. It'd be a negative result. Yeah. And so the point is, you know, it's... I don't want to read too much into the tea leaves, but if the idea right. is you're on team zoonotic origin... And this right. is, you know, you're going to be handed an L on this one so that in the future you can get a W. Mm -hmm. Then the point is, well, that sucks. I don't, you know, I don't love the period where my L is being discussed in Nature News. So yeah, but that's like, just long game PR. Oh, I agree. Yeah. But I think the point is this is with a purpose yep. would be my guess. And um, we, we will find out the next, uh, you know. Uh, it may be that there's another creature that has to join the uh, frozen the ferret badgers rats, in is and it not, the hoary rats yeah, and the frozen the ferret badger in a project. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Mm -hmm. um, but in any case, uh, and raccoon dogs, of course. The overarching picture of everything you have described here from this new chapter yep. is they cannot lose this one. Right. And we have run into several of these in the pandemic where there's like the garden variety, industrial strength, yep. um, PR campaigns around vaccine safety effectiveness. But for some reason, the epicenter of the misinformation is the official narrative on ivermectin and hydroxychloroquine. Why? Presumably because of the EUA connection. Right. Mm -hmm. That was one they knew they couldn't lose. Yep. Right. Just simply can't lose it. This is another one they just simply can't lose because if these mofos offshored work that was taking place in the U.S. to Wuhan to get it done, circumventing the gain-of-function ban that had been instituted, mm -hmm. then the, the entire US. pandemic and all of its bad consequences belong right. to them. All so the, the, three years of global hell, it's on you. Three years of global health, that, and we? it's the point is it's both sides of the equation, right? By which you mean what? If they caused COVID with gain of function research that they offshored to circumvent a ban, then the point is, you think the vaccines are causing excess deaths? That's on you. 
You think lockdowns caused it? That's also on you, mm -hmm. right? It's everything, all the downstream consequences, all of the transfers of wealth, all of the evaporation of wealth, all of the insecurity that came to the globe from this, all, all of it belongs alone. to the people who made that choice. All of the families and so went asunder. They can't it. lose it. And basically, they're going to basically exhaust us. That's the idea, right? We're going to continue to fight about the fact that everything points to the lab, and they are going to continue to tread water and then they are going to spring some, well, no, it turns out, we, we all thought maybe it came from the lab, even Fauci said so, mm. but here's the piece of evidence that says it came from the, the seafood market, done. They're going to pull that on us, and frankly, we have to remain vigilant, and it damn well better be conclusive evidence when they come up with it. We have, we have to remain vigilant, and, you know, I haven't, I haven't racked my brains, but I've thought off and on over the last three years what what would look like evidence right that would be like it's their job it's their favorite hypothesis they need to be coming up with the predictions uh that uh you know if true can only be due to zoonotic origin i haven't heard any of them that, but so they're not doing their job they're not doing science but i haven't come up with any whereas there's a lot of evidence for the lab origin for the virus not being like any other virus that anyone has ever seen in the wild. Even though I think everyone on both sides of the lab versus zoonotic origin question uh, point to a particular clade of bats, uh, which um, is either where the virus sprang from in, you know, entirely or provides the, you know, fundamental architecture on which um, gain of function research was, research was then added. I think the evidence, you know, the I it's not that some animal, even in their fantasy world, it's not that some animal caught this at the seafood market. Right. Right? No, it'd be, it'd... It, it came in with the animal, which right. implies a population of wild animal right. that has the virus or had it. And the, the only saving grace of this story, the only thing that I think prevents them from just outright manufacturing such a phenomenon in order to bail their sorry asses out mm -hmm. is that they know that they would have to, they would leave evidence if they tried to create a, a population that appeared to match that prediction. They find a wild population of raccoon dogs near where the bats live and infect them. Is that the idea? Something like that. Yeah. That they're going to end up tripping over phylogenetic evidence that they're not clever enough to fake. That the problem is... they don't have the original virus anymore? Well, they have the original virus, but the point is oh, either you've stopped the clock on that original virus or it has been evolving independently in some population. Well, I mean, I guess if, they, if they've been continuing to do research, if, any, if anywhere, the research using the original SARS-CoV-2 continue, has continued to happen, then they might have something phylogenetically downstream that isn't otherwise in the world. They do, but then the point is, do you really, if you were them... It's risky. It's very, very risky. risky because yep. you're going to suddenly have a bunch of population geneticists and phylogenetic systematists looking at this population saying, well, that doesn't make sense. The population is too small for that amount of, you know, mm -hmm. you would get this analysis. And so. Well, but would you? I mean, they, like increasingly they've got two, three evolutionary biologists in their back pocket who are trotted out to say this makes great sense. Right. So, you know, I, I, I don't know that I trust that the fields that do have the expertise and should be the ones calling the bluff on really bad science that any people would actually stand up. Well, I don't know if I were, I mean, look, there's a question why after they screwed the world over by pretending there were weapons of mass destruction in Iraq and they were revealed to have screwed up, why didn't they invent some weapons that would at least muddy that claim right. thank goodness they didn't yeah. but yep. uh, nonetheless there's that's always that's much easier to fake yes um in this case they're yes. dealing with wmds don't evolve in place right yeah um in this case they're dealing with a phenomenon that has so many tendrils that are studyable and so many good people who think about these i mean do you really want to you know trigger bill rice's curiosity over whether or not the story you're telling about the evolution of a virus in a population of you know ferret badgers or hoary rats or whatever it might be it actually adds up at the end of the day i don't think you want to trigger that so mm -hmm. my guess is they'd much rather 
you know, cobble together a Franken story from, you know, samples taken at the seafood market, mm -hmm. then have to deal with the difficulties of making a plausible, plausible, phony animal pandemic, you know, and, you know, yep. were they to be caught doing that, of course, they would be risking an entirely separate pandemic by taking a virus that is human capable and introducing it into a wild population. So there are all kinds of reasons. I don't think that would reasons. keep them up at night, though. Oh, I think it would. I think it would because, you know, they, the, the pandemic cannot, they cannot read to them as they succeeded in cleverly managing the narrative. They've been widely revealed to have screwed up not only the story of the origin, but the story of uh, repurposed drugs and alternatives, even though people aren't as awake to that portion, they that, still that's are awake. a different thing. I don't think so. At, at, at some levels, it's a different day, at least. There are different days involved, mm -hmm. whatever their gender might be. Um, but there are different days involved, um, but some of the same players, mm -hmm. um, you know. Yeah. And, you know, vaccine safety and effectiveness and uh, evolutionary proliferation of uh, viral right. variants. All of these things are places where they told a very simple story and were revealed to some uncomfortably large fraction of the population as being incorrect and at best scientifically incompetent, if not um, outright lying. Yeah. No, and I guess, uh, you know, part of part of your sort of dystopian imaginings about uh them try, you know placing a slightly evolved version of a virus in in a possible secondary host um would if discovered reveal that it was an incompetence right. just like with watergate like the cover up might be evidence that they, I, mean, I think it couldn't be like watergate because the crime is too big here yeah. um but the cover up reveals a different kind of criminality uh, then, oh God, we're so sorry. Uh, look at what we did. Yeah, we've been confused. Like they, for some people at this point, the uh, the zoonotic origin people could still claim I was wrong. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah. Whereas a cover up, now you can't anymore. Yeah. Yeah.